you know, you know that's just Kanye stuff, right? Is it? Is the choir thing kind of? That's that's kind of like production, like division production. You know, division production is just forty production. <laughs> is it? Is it OVO stuff? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's it must be so fun to have just like a little camp of, you, you know, how like uh like UFC they have like camps of like, I I trained and spar in this camp, so some people got like similar styles and stuff. Just yeah. have little camps of like production style must be fun. It must be so cool to be Drake and you walk into the studio and you see Division probably making the best song of his career uh, and you're bad. like, that's uh, mine bad. now. <laughs> <laughs> that's going on my album. You know, Aubrey, dude, this kid. <laughs> like, yeah, I like that. That shit. Yeah. Take your tracks off. Let me uh just email me the lyrics. Oh, quick. man. That's probably a little bit like, especially at least in like a handful of record labels. Someone in the, and someone's in the studio and they're like, yo, right, can we make sure that so and so isn't around because they're going to grab this and someone's going to give it that's, to them? That's us. That's probably not a great record label environment to have. The fucking OVO sweatshop. Maybe it's a little more fun than a sweatshop, but yeah, the idea of a of a of a processing plant, MMA plant, it's fun. You got a little vibe, a little tribe. I get along better with your friends. Yeah, it's a little divisiony, little springs in there. Uh, keep up, B. The simping who can keep up drake because at uh, some point when you're like 40 and you're still simping it's like dude come on uh that's kind of what r&b was right it was simping on loving yeah but you know r&b historically has been sung by like younger younger guys in their 20s you know drake's kind of getting up there so they were just the the r&b i'm thinking of is just those young guys that got old and are still talking about it but i don't know what the fuck am i saying like drake could always I, I, fucking do whatever a lot of people enjoy the the simp sentiment, so as long as people can catch a feeling to it, I can I can one hundred percent see the appeal of this album to women, especially like the 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 ballady songs. It, it is a bunch of women emojis. Fuck. Everybody, dude, I swear that it can't be all organic because you you've seen people memes and they have their like own meme of the the drake version cover yeah and i swear they got like at least just a little bit of like shill marketing team to pop pop out the memes first to get it percolating and then other there has to be but you know i i I, kind of feel like that's more like that's more like on the the record label side Yeah, yeah yeah that's what i'm saying fuck like how would you even i don't know how would you even fucking promote that just be like just slap these emojis everywhere put them on buses and shit you just make memes dude you buy buy someone's spot on a meme page you do a celebrity you do basically celebrities and page with a lot of traffic and then eventually because it's also super easy to make a replica of that kind of you just kind of you can especially on an iphone if you're just doing different emoji you get different color emoji and then from there, it's like, oh, this is now a, a trending topic. So other companies are going to hop on. I saw Peter from Norway. Shout out, Peter. Uh, did one about Porsche. Porsche had one and posted their thing. Hmm. Meme marketing. Hmm. The, uh, the, I forget the word, but the plant trending, trending of plants, planting of trends. Have you noticed that most, uh, I don't know if it's on Spotify, but at least on Apple Music, most album art is animated now. Is it? Yeah. Like the Drake emojis are like looking around and stuff. Like while you're scrolling through? No, like when, you pick it. when you're just, when you click it and you just see the list of songs. Or and I know also, I think maybe when you play it, maybe not when you play it, but when you're like browsing. I know Spotify has like GIFs for when you're playing something on certain songs. You can upload that as a Spotify creator too. I wonder if that's gonna be the uh, like the norm. Like your your album art has to be animated now. I think kind of now, at least if if I'm posting on Spotify and I'm an artist, I'm at least having a couple of songs that are are animated videos. Speaking of album art, you know what I hate? Pet peeve of mine. Yeah, tell me. If someone makes an album art cover, and let's say that's the only thing they contributed to 
the body of art as a whole, the album. Okay. okay. And then they call themselves the creative director. No. First of all, the creative director was the fucking artist, like the, the actual artist. And secondly, the, I mean, you can it might not be the artist if you're kind of a young kid on a label. Or... Like there's actual creative directors like Lamar Taylor is the weekend's creative director and he's great. And he actually does like creative director work. But like if you like if somebody does like album art for a single, not a single, an album for like a rapper. Yeah. And they say creative direction by me. It's like, bro, I'm sure you weren't in the studio helping this guy write verses or like on the set helping them film videos. They did the direction of the creativity art wise. They, they followed the they followed the instructions of the uh, that too. But that's like that's like one step of like the like if I if I directed all the videos for an album, I'd be offended. I'd be like, what? Why well, aren't I the creative director at least or the co creative director? Are you seeing this of like like kind of bigger names or just kind of SoundCloud rappers? Mostly smaller names. Then in that like small, small or like small industry small? Uh I would say like like could I go behind this person one day if I enter someone's house and see them making the art. Go behind this like like see if I walk into a homie's house one day in LA that is a little bit of musical connections while I see them making the art. Like on their laptop on Photoshop, maybe, yeah. Yeah. In that case, these people that are the artists might just have like that could be the only creative <laughs> creativity that they're doing with their their rollout uh, i'll just say like album art by graphics yeah. i don't know yeah graphics i mean what, what i'm sure on the track listing of like big industry records there's probably a legit tag that says cover art by j smoothie and the b cover art by indian design firm llc outsource inc look at this freaking emoji thing I wonder whose idea it was to put the pregnant emojis because those are new emojis. Those haven't even been released yet, I think. It's it's very labely to me. I feel like Drake wouldn't have been like, you know, these emojis would be fire. There's definitely like another cover before. And There's at least like probably. three meetings. <laughs> What's the feeling of this album? You know, do we want it to be like Drake's face? Do we want it to be like? Yeah, what if we just do like? Uh... Emojis up there on a white screen. These emojis are fucking fire, dude. Apple just sent us the pack. <laughs> See, that's why I'm saying it was, I feel like it was more of like, yeah, let's make some memes. Because like they they memed out views. They memed out kind of where his head's on the table of kind of like making simp memes or whatever. But this one, they're like, yo, we could literally make a trend of people can uh, mimic this easily. So let's do that. I wonder if Apple's gonna sue the pants off Drake. I was gonna say use this opportunity to make a commercial. That'd be dope. I haven't seen an Apple commercial in a minute. I haven't seen TV in a minute, but it is yeah. hilarious, dude. When they had the the they rolled out colors for their desktop, and they were like, "There's something about in maybe they didn't say innovation on there, but it was at the time where like the sentiment like a few months ago was like the Apple doesn't really innovate stuff, and I was like, "Ah, oh, you kidding me, dude? They have purple desktops." <laughs> Do you think that's you think you like that computer? I haven't really seen it, but yeah, I dude. probably wouldn't go towards purple. I think uh, if I was in a creative environment, if I was in a studio, I'd, I'd cop that. I don't. The colors are fine to me. It's just this, it's just it's been the same design for fifteen years. It still has the giant chin, you know. Like the, at least make it like bezelless or something. I don't know. A little twenty forty release, you know. It'll be cool. They're probably, I know for sure they have one, like an iMac Pro that's going to look different coming out soon. But they're probably just like, yo, let's just release some uh, school computers and let's oh. make it hit by putting it in your kitchen because that's cool. Someone wants a desktop in their kitchen. Man, I knew someone with a desktop in their kitchen. That's weird. I think that and a TV in your kitchen is weird. I've also, my, my, my grandparents had a TV in their kitchen. Like right next to the living room. Like if you're cooking, bro, you're in there. You know what I'm saying? You're eating. Yeah. You, know, you don't need to watch TV all the time. But that's funny you brought desktop in the kitchen. I remember one family 
I, I went I went over a few times. Yeah, like you just listen to like music in the kitchen. Might have not been a kitchen, but it was kinda weird. You just cook in and you're just getting like grease stains on your computer. <laughs> just right next to the stove. Just yeah, like uh, at, at the corner. <laughs> the the bacon grease popping. Yeah, I definitely want to browse email while I'm fucking making tacos. I have a little bit of like if you got like a house, just have a little bit of separation, you know? Yeah, my goodness. 